everybody, welcome back to Jimmy's promo and today is February 20th and today is the day that we will finally be doing Samsung Smart Switch here in 2021, moving from the Galaxy Z Fold 2 into the Galaxy S21 Ultra. Now I've had the Galaxy S21 Ultra for a while now, I've never really had the want or need to really move on over. The Galaxy Z Fold 2 just fills all the voids and I just love the, the form factor, the larger screen and especially when it comes down to charting and things like that, but I do have to move over to the S21 Ultra so I can start creating videos for you guys, especially also with Samsung One UI 3.1, which is already being pushed to older devices, the Galaxy S20 lineup, the Note 20 lineup, the Z Flip, as well as the Galaxy Z Fold 2. So pretty much what I'm gonna do here is let's take a look at Samsung Smart Switch here in 2021. Now, if you've already started using your phone and you went through the whole setup process already and you wanted to kind of play with the phone before you actually switched everything over, the fastest way to find it is just by typing in the word switch. So what it's gonna do is it's gonna bring up this option here, which is bring data from old device. So I've already searched it over here. Uh, we're gonna pull it up right over there. It's gonna highlight there for just a quick second so you can bring data from old device. Again, just called Samsung Smart Switch. And if you've never really opened Samsung Smart Switch yet, you do have to hit uh, continue. You do want to hit on allow. So then this way it can basically read everything that you would like to move over. Now this is the older device over here. So we will be sending the data. This one over here will be receiving the data. Uh, for the old phone, it is a Galaxy phone, and we're just gonna go wireless. Now you do have the option to do it connected, but wireless is, I think, just as fast, and it's just super simple and easy to use. So let's go through, let's hit on allow. You might even hear a little small noise, and it's just a communication between the two phones. Um, and once it pretty much picks it all up, it's super, super quick. So from here, all we really need to do is choose what we want to move over. So you have the account, so like the Google account, uh, the calls and contacts, messages, um, and also too, with any of these that have the arrow, you just simply tap on the arrow. And if you don't want all of the messages from this phone over here, switching over to this one, you can just go with maybe just the last 30 days. Maybe the last 30 days is really what is mostly important. Uh, you can also go through all of your applications. And so through the applications, you know, there may be something that might not, you know, push on over kind of depending on which phone you're switching from. So if there's any of these applications that you do not want on this device right here, simply tap on that. Uh, actually, I'm going to keep that one. <laughs> it's one of those. It's kind of fun. Uh, so there's a few of these that we really do not need over on this phone over here. Uh, private share is actually really cool. Uh, if you guys have not played with private share yet, make sure you guys get that and then also play with it. So I think we're actually pretty good here. We're going to hit on done. Uh, so we went through the apps. Uh, we, you can take a look at the settings. You can also move over to your home screen. So in this way, uh, the Samsung free settings that you've already created, your Samsung Dex settings, and then also the widgets layout and app layout if apps are also selected, um, which the apps are selected, so we're good to go. And then when you move on down to your images and videos, you can select if there's any of these that you do want to come over or if you don't want to come over. And I think it's pretty wild that, you know, this phone is sitting right over here, but now I'm actually viewing all the images um, and as well as all of the videos from this device that's sitting right up over there. So I think that that's pretty wild and pretty cool. Uh, and then you also have audio if there's any audio and then documents and files. So we're gonna go through, we're gonna hit on transfer. Uh, and let's see here, let's go to copy, identify. Uh, so I'm gonna put my finger on the fingerprint. Now that I put my fingerprint on there, really the only thing I had to do was on this phone, there was another Google account and all I had to do was just basically sign in on that. So this way that other Google account can transfer everything as well. Now, I usually like to keep my screen on just to kind of watch this. So as you're in the screen here, you can see that it's going along. Uh, we got 10 minutes left. We're already at 16% done. It's transferring over the messages. And one thing I will let you guys know is that you don't need to be connected to a Wi-Fi. You don't need to be connected to uh, an LTE network or anything like that. These two phones are really talking to each other with Wi-Fi Direct. It's a really easy way to share you know, data really super fast. So if you're at home, just keep them close to each other. If you're trying to leave a store, uh, you're, in, you're in a rush to long enough to get your phone or something like that. If you're keeping the old phone and you're just, you, you need to leave, uh, you'd be able to just place these two phones next to each other in the passenger seat or back seat, let it finish its thing. Uh, but I do want to let you guys know you don't have to be connected to a particular service or, or Wi-Fi at that moment. Even though it shows Wi-Fi, it's just Wi-Fi direct transferring it all over. Uh, so we're still, you know, going pretty good along the ways here. We're at 25% now, nine minutes left. 
apps uh, apps and app data is now being transferred over. Oh yeah, and if you guys are brand new here at the channel, Jimmy is Promo, we appreciate these tips, tricks, tutorials, and the latest information on Samsung devices, as well as a live demonstration of how to use Samsung Smart Switch here in 2021. Make sure you guys hit on that subscribe button and also hit the bell for notifications so you get notified for all future videos. All of these videos here are for free. It's amazing, awesome, great content. And also, if you appreciate this even more, give this thing a huge thumbs up because in this way, it'll help the YouTube algorithm them push this to a larger audience. Now with all of that a little bit out of the way there, uh, we only have seven minutes left and it's been, uh, you know, we're at 46% done, almost halfway completed. It is transferring over all of my videos. So this is, this time is gonna be depending on how much content you have on your phone. So this right here is, I mean, I have 133 videos. I might need to take a look at those and see if there's any of them I need to take off. Um, but yeah, this right here is gonna take a little bit of time. Now, once it all kind of transfers over, then it'll start saving into this phone and putting it all into a chronological order and alphabetical order and things like that. So if you have a ton of text messages, not only is all of the messages being transferred over, but it's putting it in order per each conversation per each date. So if it does take a little bit of time to fully finalize after it all kind of transfers the data over when it's kind of placing it into your phone, uh, it may take just a few extra minutes. Text messages I found usually takes a little bit longer than really anything else on the phone. Uh, but other than that, I'm gonna stop talking and we'll be right back when this is all finished. So we are done and complete. That is all you have to do. That is how simple and how fast and easy this is. So I'm really curious to see how this formatted, you know, larger screen, this four by three screen moves it over uh, into this regular candy bar shaped device over here with transferring, you know, some of the applications and folders and things like that. So when you're at this point in the stage, I'd always suggest that even though it's already still working in the background here, just make sure that you take a look at your gallery, all of the images are sitting there, go inside of your text messaging application, make sure your text messages are still there, and also go inside of your phone, make sure all your contacts are being stored as well too. So just taking a fast peek, here is some of the galleries, some of the pictures that I've had on the older device. Then if we take a look inside of text messaging, it's all gonna be, you know, be sitting right there. If I go inside of the phone over here, it's gonna show all of the contacts. You can scroll through, just making sure everything is sitting there. But here we go, we're going into this uh, device here. We're going into these uh, type of videos of the Galaxy S21 Ultra. I should have done this a while ago, but honestly, I am so enthused and, and I still love the Z Fold 2. I'm probably still going to keep using this through the day just on Wi-Fi once I move over the SIM card. I mean, I don't think there's really anything that's taking me away from the Z Fold 2 unless if it's the Z Fold 3. But I hope you guys have liked this video. If you guys did, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe right over here in the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.